beat Adrian Gontier. So Schlosser in the gold medal match. But it is time to see JP Borsch going up against Jean Pizarro. It's France versus Puerto Rico for the compound men's individual bronze medal. Let's go down for the athlete introductions. On target number one, representing France, Jean-Philippe Pouge. Yeah. Yeah. On target number two, representing Puerto Rico, Jean Pizarro. The line judge for this match is Marine Haas. So a chance here for JP Borsch to collect his third individual stage bronze medal. His third stage medal of any colour as well. And a chance for Jean Pizarro of Puerto Rico to pick up his first medal on in the individual World Cup stage. What a matchup. You have to say the pressure is on JP Borsch. He's the one that will be expected to take this medal. But it's Pizarro of Puerto Rico to get us underway. My boys will be Maybe a slightly longer hold than we've seen before, but just missing out on that 10. Talking to himself there, a little bit of self-talk. Got to push the reset button now. Get back into this. My point. Oh, man, speaking, JP Borch is talking to himself there. Um, apologies to any lip readers out there, but uh, oh, yeah. into the line as well, and uh, Pizarro has. Found the center of the target. Bush, a 10 4, a mini lead. Yes, gets the 10. But he still doesn't look happy. He didn't look happy in his semi final, and he doesn't look happy here despite the 29. Yeah, I think it's the way he's executing. We definitely saw in the semi final, uh, just in the last end where he was up at full draw. We saw that elbow come forward. So I think he's struggling a little bit mentally with just keeping the normal shot moving and working for him. He's just got to keep going with it. I'm not seem a little un unusual to talk about the execution process because he's getting such good scores but it's when things start to go wrong isn't it that if your execution isn't right you don't know how to correct it it's his frustration there yeah all you want to do at this point is not just walk off the field and go and do a bit of practice and come back in maybe half an hour when you you know settled into it again but not gonna let them do that i don't think they will no i don't think they will let them go and do that Matters not, though, because uh, Borsch finds himself one point up here in the men's compound individual bronze medal match. Jean Pizarro of Puerto Rico will get the second end underway. Shake of the head, not happy at all with this process. Yeah, 
just see him come off again, that backhand. He just mm. he's, he's mentally struggling just to keep the power on. His brain's telling him, oh, you know, we can relax now, we can relax now. It is verging on, you know, dare I say it, a bit of target panic, I think. Perfect from Pissarro. It's perfect from Borsch. Now, uh, it means he holds the lead at uh, 59 58, as you can see. Uh, and Nicky, talk about target panic, because that's you mentioned that. The TP is a, a, a terrifying thing for an archer, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> what's going on through the brain is that when the shot goes off, your brain learns that, oh, we can relax now. So they get to a point where you know, he thinks, oh, the shot's about to go off and, oh, we can relax. And that's where we saw that back elbow sort of come forward a little bit when he hadn't released yet. A horrible place to be. You just got to keep your brain on just pushing and pulling and just making that shot happen. Get a good look at uh, some of these replays here at uh, two perfects, and we're talking about target panic. And it is first World Cup circuit event of the season. And underway by Pissarro with a 10. pressure on on Bulls here and just when he needs to as well yeah, he's settling in now isn't he got that groove perhaps he can feel the tension that's happening over this side of the, of the field It's another opportunity for Borsch. Can he go too clear with a 10? Oh, I mean, it's a superb XXX. Uh, looks of things for Borsch. And, and yet, just uh, three hours ago, we were talking about target panic. He's extended his lead. Uh, he's he's going to, in some respects, he's, he's putting too much pressure on himself, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, that's where target panic comes from. It's think about the outcome. It's too much information going on in your brain. That's why I keep talking about sticking to the process a lot. You make it simple. But he's, he's just managing it right now. It's not a very nice place to be because you kind of don't know what's going to happen next. And when you're in the flow and the shots are just like breaking and everything's running as you want it to, it's so brilliant. You, know, you get these lovely feelings, but he is just managing himself right now and he's, he's doing a great job of it. He is doing a great job. Uh, perfect, perfect. Three X's uh, for Borsch. And he goes at 89, 87 up. But Pizarro's not done much wrong in this. A couple of nines to start things off, open the door. Uh, but uh, that's the difference between the two. Pizarro will get end number four underway. Six more arrows for him to keep up his chance of getting on the podium here in Antalya. Oh, just not quite steady, is he? Just twitching to get into full draw. Managing it well, I think, is a little bit of an understatement. Yeah. He's having the heebie-jeebies in, in a massive way, the Frenchman. Long hole from Pizarro, though, uh, but he gets it into the X as well. Oh, 
<laughs> the shake of the head. I mean, it is all about, you know, crucial net. Can he keep holding it together? He's doing so well. Nine opens the door again. Really struggling, as you say, Nicky, to get into full draw there. Changed his eye line and everything, but look, it's another perfect. I mean, it's almost like he needs to go off in this break here, have a little cry in the corner somewhere, and then come back out. Uh, and but. If he could do this when he's under so much pressure, putting himself under so much pressure, imagine what he could do with the freedom of being relaxed. Absolutely. I mean, you know, he's just going to have to do some resetting after this. And sometimes that's what people do. Um, you know, they get into a stage where they are sort of target panicky uh, and then just go away, reset, get back to that normal shot process. But. The key to this is all is having a really good mental process. Something that you, it's going to fill your conscious mind, something that's going to allow your body just to do what you need it to do over and over again. But in this situation, there's going to be lots of things running through his brain, outcomes, you know, trying to win here, and just got to hold to the side. Uh, is there a, a thing here where, you know, not shooting well, not feeling comfortable, and still coming away potentially with a bronze medal, you can come away from that and say, well, actually, do you know what, even when I'm in that difficult situation, I'm still pretty good. Yeah, but it's just a horrible place to be. Yeah. Uh, if only you could see Nikki Hunt's face. She's sort of grimacing as, as though she's experiencing it herself. It's not great for JP Borsch. But he does lead by three points as we go into the final end here. Jean Pizarro of Puerto Rico is in the match, but trailing by three. holds but still results in a 10 final hour of Pizarro done well to make the final four wants to finish with a perfect and he does a lovely performance from the Puerto Rican here uh, but as you can see a seven will give Bulls a draw anything more and he's got the bronze Oh, it's a perfect finish. There were four perfect 30s in a row from JP Bulls, dropping just one point in the first end with his second arrow. He was all over the shot mentally, but he was too much to handle for the president of the Puerto Rican Archery Federation. Jean Pizarro will come away with fourth place, something that perhaps he wouldn't have expected coming in. But JP Bulls will be on the podium here in Antalya and he'll pick up a load of ranking points and towards his qualification potentially for the Hyundai Archery World Cup final.